Soul Pass, Jay's back for another daily review, and we're gonna do music news today as well. So today's review is to that Drake Child's Play, the music video that he dropped, man. And you know, he definitely tried to make something epic out of this that it definitely did not have to be that. Like, he tried to make an extended music video of 13 minutes plus on this basic concept that this song is all the way around, which is him falling out with his woman, and because of that, he went to the strip club. Like, that didn't have to be 13 minutes, and these roles that he got in here, man, is rather whack. Now, first, I definitely did love Tyra Banks, though, man. She definitely played the role exactly the way you needed to be. And I love how they played off the lyrics and stuff, man, where they was at the Cheesecake Factory and such, man, and Drake didn't want no issues because it's at the Cheesecake Factory, but we all know women don't play that in such a dude. And that's one thing that I always respect about women. If it's gonna go down, it doesn't matter if they at their own crib, if they're out in the public, if they at your crib, it's usually going to go down the same regardless. So she hit him with the cheesecake and threw the wine on him and all of that, man, in which he's just sitting there feeling embarrassed and all of that, man. And then he continues to do his verse with all of that on him and such, man. And you know, Drake, he constantly does this in a lot of his videos and such, man. Where it's almost like he's trying to be become the new comical meme that everybody can take and go ahead and flip. I did enjoy that aspect, but my core issue with it is when they actually went to the strip club and they introduced the white owner, the son of the owner and all of that, man, and which I've seen this guy multiple times. He has been on multiple Drake videos and such, I believe. And they did like this long skit of him trying to be funny, man, and it just came off dry and came off really bad. Like it almost came off as we have to fill up this amount of time, so let's go ahead and give him this skit where he can just go and freestyle it even though none of it was that funny and such dude. Now this particular song I liked it more than most that was on that album but it wasn't one of my favorites though. And the video was a definite attempt to try to take it to another level but it falls flat so severely dude. Overall I would say go ahead and peep it because it's Sunday and there ain't really nothing else coming out on Sunday man but it's not that great. But anyway on to music news and such man. Did you guys see that Kanye put out a casting call where well, he said he only went biracial people and such man to be his models and you know a lot of people been ragging on that on Twitter like he's pretty much saying no to dark skinned women and people may have a point on that man but yet Ultimately, this is something that we as a people need to get over the whole light skin versus dark skin. The whole I'm biracial thing, man. Because here's the way America works, man. You are either perceived as black or you are perceived as white, bro. Like, there's a ton of biracial people who slide in with the whole white crowd because nobody knows their history yet. But yet, when these white supremacists figure out that you got black family members and such that you disown and you just look light enough to fit in with them, then they're gonna call you out and all but excommunicate you from their system. Yes, a lot of men put way too much value on light-skinned women and such, man. Put that on a pedestal when there's just as beautiful dark-skinned women out there, bruh. Let me put it in perspective. Harrison, the ex-Patriots player that is a announcer and such on NBC, he came out and said that Kaepernick is not black, so he doesn't know what it's like to be black, and that is a lie. Even though he's biracial, tell that to all the white supremacists that slandering him on Twitter all the time, calling him the N-word all the time, bruh. He is more black than Harrison will ever be because all he does is get up on TV and coon a lot. So next, J. Cole got two more platinum plaques, man, for singles, Can't Get Enough, and Crooked Smile and such, man. And you know what? His total career, he got three platinum albums and then six platinum singles. And this is a guy who's constantly slept on when it comes to the Grammys and all of the awards and everything, man. And this is the resume of a guy that all of the people just continue to doubt saying that he's the best in the game right now as they continue to push it towards Kendrick Lamar. In which I don't sleep on him. I feel as though J. Cole is the best that's out there right now, bruh. Big congratulations to that man. Next, Dame Dash got a new TV series coming out, man, where he's going in depth in a brutally honest way on the rise of Rockefeller Records, man. In which this is going to be very interesting. Like, it's not going to be biopic like, because you know a lot of people are on that based on the success of Straight Out of Compton. Instead, he's going in a direction of the people versus OJ like. And when they announce that's coming out, man, I'm going to watch and support that one. That's one that I definitely want to watch. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.